Hi folks, Mark here again. We're uh, doing martial mechanics and today I want to talk about attack range. Now, this is something that applies to other fields and subjects, but one of the things about attack range is, let me define it here, attack range is the distance somebody can attack you without taking a step. That's very important. Now, obviously weapons change attack range, but for the moment, we're going to introduce you to the concept at barehanded. Now, Don, can I borrow you here? Now, a lot of police departments teach people, oh, don't let them get within, within five feet. Well, guess what? You're in somebody's attack range if he's five feet um, for most people. A more effective way to tell somebody's attack range is to measure from the eyebrows to the floor and then lay that distance up on the ground. Now, I am right now within Don's attack range. Huh? Um, okay, there's two things about this. Number one, the way he's standing is going to make his attack range shorter. But if you take a bladed stance, all right, now, you know, people think, oh, I'm safe. No, I am still in his attack range because he can do a lunge kick, but boom. Now, he retracted with that kick, but let's scoot back a bit more. A lot of times people will open with a lunge kick and turn it into a step. So he lunge kicks, he's there, he kicked me, boom. Now he's close enough. Um, the kick can be the step, right? So primarily, you know, at this distance, I am in kicking range. Now, the way you figure that out, and that, this is an important aspect of understanding attack range, is what can he effectively attack with at that distance, right? Well, the distance that he's got right now because of the way his feet are uh, placed, is going to be mostly kicks. So he can do a lunge kick, he can uh, throw a, a rear leg roundhouse, right, and he can still get me. Now, at this distance, I know I'm going to be attacked by his feet if he attacks. What he will do, however, most people will move into a different aspect of tackling. Now, so from the eyebrows to the floor is the official kick, uh, attack range. But the outer side of that is kicking range. From about his belly button down is punching range. Now, what you will see is most people won't want, uh, no, stay back. Most people um, aren't that good at kicking. So while it's possible, and if he's out at that distance, I will expect him to attack with his feet. If he wants to attack with his hands, he's got to take a step in. Boom. Right? So, I tell you this because one of the signs of danger and the thing to look for is somebody moving into attack range. doesn't matter what, which degree it is. Um, when people talk about pre-attack indicators, which I don't like that term, um, one of the biggest ones that you're being set up for an attack or an attack is occurring is the person moving into attack range. Now, if Don decides to, you know, actually, could you step out of attack range? Okay, not off camera, but out of attack range. Um, so, if Don wants to punch me and he wants to set it up slowly, he'll kind of talk his way in and move into yeah da 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 da. Keep on moving. Notice that he set up punching range. Okay, all that yakking was to cover that. Or the other alternative is the berserk charge, where he comes charging into punching range. So he's just oh my god, he's attacking me, right? I'll tell you the truth. The berserk charge, we tend to go oh, and freak out over, right? That is actually the, one of the worst ways to attack because it's relying on me doing this. Okay? Um, the 
guy who is far more dangerous is the guy who very subtly sets up attack range, you know, the punching range, yak, 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 right? That's the guy you want to watch for because he's going to get in a position to hurt you the worst. Now, yeah. Um, so when I tell somebody to stay back, right, he is just, well, no, stay, okay, I know he is still in attack range because I know that about the kicking part. So I'm watching for him to set up a kick from this position. He can't really kick me effectively from there. Now he can kick me effectively just by changing foot position. Now I should also tell you, do that again. Attack range is not based on the back foot, it's based on the front foot. So if somebody has put that, their front foot into attack range, they're ready to go. Now, ooh yeah, that tells me, that tells me all kinds of things, right? But also notice how he just do that again, stop. Now, he's doing hand work, I'm still outside punch range for him, okay? But what he, the way he just moved told me I really need to watch his rear foot. Say, this is speed, that is power. This is speed, that is power. Okay, well some people can generate power from their front hand very, very well. Most people, when they cock, it's their rear hand that is, or their rear hand foot is gonna give their power. Now, this one, in order for him to hit me with that rear hand, could you just extend it? Okay, he can't do it. So when he does that, I saw that step. I'm thinking, okay, he's going to kick, but if he wants to punch, what is he going to have to do? He's going to have to take another step. Bring it in, boom. All right, so basically by understanding attack range, you can tell what's coming. Now, from knees down, is elbows, knees, headbutt, all these other nasty stuff. Um, you know, basically, if the if he and I are this close, what we're going to be throwing is those type of attacks. Most people cannot kick very effectively from that range. There are ways you can, but they're really rare. So mostly, wherever the guy is tells you what he's going to be attacking. Thank you. Now, the thing about attack range is you can really articulate that you knew you were in danger because he moved into attack range. You tell somebody to stay back and they still close in, they're telling you something that is articulatable in court as to why you felt you were under attack. Because it is a recognized thing but most people don't know how to explain it like we just did. So this is not only going to keep you from getting your teeth knocked out, but it also is going to help you if you have to defend yourself.